Hey, welcome to Carl's Off-Road. Today, as in the previous video, we're going to work on this burner here. Um, it's still a prototype, but what I'm going to do today, instead of doing any more work, drilling any more holes, I'm simply going to change the blower, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's full of snow because it's been snowing here in Michigan, you know, and it's about 25 degrees out, so t-shirt weather. Um, anyways, so what I'm going to do is run it on a two and a half gallon Craftsman shop vac, which only moves 50 CFM, but the pressure is way higher than even the bounce house blower. The bounce house blower moves a lot more air, but not as forcefully. So it's full of snow in here. Um, I got some nice snow covered oil down here. I've been sitting outside, so it's nice and cold too. Um, this should be a true test to how good this thing works. So. Let's get going. We're just gonna start by dumping some in. It's nasty, thick. I'm not sure how it's gonna light being full of snow. <laughs> it could be interesting. That's a good little splash. I'm gonna put some paper towel in there just like last time. I happen to have it in my pocket. Nothing fancy, not soaked in anything. I'm gonna drop a couple in there. And then uh, we're gonna save one so we can light it and drop it in there. And no sandals today, guys. Got my boots on. Only because of the snow, man. Normally I wouldn't care, but I guess I'm getting older, so it's starting to bother me. So we let that, dropped it in there. Trying to get some oil on them paper towels that are in there. Just a little bit. This helps them burn a little bit longer. So hopefully we get a chance of getting this thing going. Drop the air here. And we'll slowly give it some air. Not sure how this is gonna work. Like I said, there's probably an inch of snow in the bottom too. <laughs> Might take a minute to get rolling. I'm sure the water's not gonna help nothing. Might just blow it right out. Definitely not liking the water. We'll let this get rolling here. If it does, it seems to be taking off, but not real quick, because it's full of snow. And uh, I'll bring you back here. Well, it's lit. But uh, it's going so hot, I can't even get near it. And it's got, it's burning the inside of the barrel out now too, so. Yeah, I can barely even get by it, man. It's friggin' hot. I, uh, honestly a little scared to put the lid on. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, uh, let this simmer down a bit. I'm gonna try and bring you in and show you without melting my camera here. Hope you can see that. Definitely got a good burn going. Um, and the wind isn't helping me much either, so we'll, uh, we'll see. Still just dumping it in. Should take right off. Blowing all the ash and everything out of there, too. Does have a little bit of smoke, so maybe we are gonna have to make some more holes in this pipe here. So I'm gonna let this burn out. We'll make some modifications and give her another shot here. So I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, so we let that burn out and uh, pulled this back out. Here's the modifications I made. 
I drilled four quarter inch holes around right here, you know, ow, stabbed myself in the head. Uh, didn't measure anything. That's like the width of my drill press table. So it made it easy to measure, I guess. Um, I'd say it's about six inches. That might be seven. These are about six. Anyway, so I drilled four quarter inch holes right here. If you can see that. Not sure if you can. Are they straight? Absolutely not. Did I measure anything? Absolutely not. And then I drilled eight, about six inches above that. And another eight. And they're all quarter inch holes, including the ones on the main burn nozzle, wherever they are. <laughs> you got, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight holes this side, eight holes this side, and eight on each bottom, and they kind of get it circulating. So I'm going to stick this back in here, get it lit, and I'll bring you back, and we'll see what happens. And this is simple as sticking it in just like that, you know. Let me get the lid on. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I'm liable to blow myself up here, but we're going to give it a shot for science. Now I spilled a bunch of oil on this lid, so you may see some smoke. You may see an explosion. It might blow the lid right off. I don't know. See what happens. Try and keep the air going to it as I do it here. Seems safe, huh? Okay. Lid's on and she's getting hot. That that oil's flashing right off her head. Let you see the blue flame. This is uh very exciting for me. Not sure if you can see the blue flames in there. Might have to do this at night. Holy smokes. I'm gonna melt my damn camera. Seriously, so hot I can't even be by it. And yeah, there's some smoke growing off that lid. But uh I'm gonna call that a win, man. What I'll do is I'll bring you back. I'm gonna bring you back tonight. So this video won't be coming out for a while. It's melting whatever that is um i'll bring you back tonight so you can see the blue flame in there oh my gosh burn my damn eyebrows off all right guys so i'll see you it'll be a second for you and it'll be hours for me but i want to show you the success we're having here and it is so hot you can't even be by it so hopefully tonight we'll see that barrel glowing maybe i don't think it is but it's definitely hot See you in a bit. Not sure if you guys can see that. It is. Oh, I'm so excited. I just uh, seriously think I made the best blue flame burner I've ever built in my entire life. Super excited, guys. I'll see you tonight. All right, guys. Welcome back. Um, made some changes. Wanted to be able to run this thing with the lid shut. Um, I also, on the on the bottom T section of the air pipe, I welded all of those holes that face straight down completely closed. So the only ones I have are the ones that point out on an angle to get the vortex going. Um, and that seemed safer after I flipped this thing over this morning and saw how bad the bottom of the barrel warped. I didn't want to burn through it. So, because I did some testing last night too, and I'll show you that footage at the end here. Um, ended up losing some arm hair and a couple eyebrows, no big deal. But just did it this way, that way I can just take this clamp off and uh, pull the air out and I can take this whole thing apart in a matter of minutes. That cap I will put in there um, and I will put a, a regular barrel stove chimney adapter with a flue in there. Um, but not today and sorry i'm sniffling um i've been sick as a dog man that's why it's taking so long to get this video out but anyways just my regular gravity feed homemade job to do works great um 
But like I said, when I put it into use, I'll use the pump just like I do for my boiler. So anyways, you can't see the blue flame in there on camera. So I will bring you back tonight and show you that. All right, well, welcome back, man. I had to wait till dark so you could see this thing in all its glory. It's got a blue flame coming out where the stack would be. I just lit this thing. It's crazy how fast it lights, and it's only five degrees out right now, actual temp, or it feels like five, something like that. It's cold as heck. Not next to this thing. Um, so, yeah, you can see the blue flame coming right out of there. And I'm just running on a little stream of oil. I do dump oil in it to light it because um, you got to have something down there to get it rolling. But uh, I'm going to let you look inside there. This thing's amazing. You can see all the hot spots on the barrel. But she's nothing but blue flame inside, man. Hope you can see that other than the big one shooting out of the hole. It's all blue. It's hard to appreciate it, man, with on camera, I'm telling you. It's so much cooler in person. We've looked down that hole. Getting a flash out of there too. That'll be plugged off and it'll all be going out the chimney. And I think the chimney will probably be glowing. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to use that as part of the heat exchanger too. So we're not going to waste any of this heat. But you can see all blue flame, man. Top to bottom in this thing. It's absolutely insane. By far best burner and biggest burner I've ever built it's super nice standing next to it now that it's rolling man my toes are warming up even because here let me turn my light on here got my sandals on boys look at the snow is gone all the way around this thing from testing it <laughs> a good I don't know, five or six feet, man. This thing throws some heat. But yeah, pretty happy with the results, man. Can you guys see how blue that flame is coming out of there? It's, it's the prettiest blue I've ever seen. It seriously looks like a giant propane burner. <laughs> And this is some real nasty oil I'm using. This oil's got water and all kinds. It, it, the oil itself stunk, but I don't smell anything other than the metal getting hot next to it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I just want to thank you again for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm thinking this thing's going to go into a large heat exchanger and become an outdoor forest air furnace heater. For somebody maybe we'll get it all done and raffle it off or something to a lucky viewer so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell and follow our progress here man we're doing everything we can to keep you entertained this thing's amazing have a great night guys see you in the next one. Oh, there she is at night if that ain't blue flame i don't know what is man it's windier than shit out too, so it's not helping. But she's blue through and through, man, top to bottom. Even coming out, I couldn't see that before, but that explains why I burnt the hair off my arms and my damn eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, she's running great, man. Just wanted to update you guys on uh, how it turned out. Talk to you later.